Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the reason why I absolutely no longer wear all glass lenses when driving a vehicle. Now, honestly, I think this video is gonna be one of the most important that I've ever made on this YouTube channel, so make sure to watch it all the way to the end, and I'll try my best to not waste a second of your time. I've been in the optical industry for over 10 years now, and one of the first things that we are taught when learning about sunglasses and eyewear is how glass lenses are far superior to all the other lenses, and they really are in a ton of different metrics. They are gonna be much more scratch resistant than Palmer lenses, and the optical clarity is almost always gonna be better an all glass lens than it is going to be with a polycarbonate lens. And also a lot of big sunglass name brands uh, have an upcharge for all glass lenses compared to the nylon or polycarbonate lens. So their sales reps definitely heavily push those all glass lenses. Now on the other hand, there are some other brands who do a really good job of hiding the actual lens material, which is extremely weird. I'm not going to name any specific uh, pairs of sunglasses or specific brands who do this, but there are definitely some who do this all the time and it is really annoying and again, potentially dangerous. All right, now the reason why you want to avoid all glass lenses when driving has to do with the glass lens shatter resistance. So glass lenses typically, if they're made by a high quality company, uh, do have a tampered glass. And because of that, they're actually going to kind of have a layer of plastic or some sort of film on the inside of the lens that's going to help uh, the sunglass lens, if it does get shattered, uh, not blow into a million different pieces. Uh, so here, I'm not sure if you can see this well, but I do have a pair of All People's All of Our Sun, and my son actually uh, dropped a pretty heavy aluminum flashlight on this pair of sunglasses by accident, and it completely shattered uh, the lens. And on the front of this lens, we can feel a ton of different uh, cracks there, and then here on the back, basically at the main point uh, that they were shattered, we can also feel uh, some glass shards and chips, and if I actually look at my uh, fingernail here, I can definitely see a couple chips there uh, on my nail there. And that can be extremely, extremely dangerous. And that's just from dropping a small uh, flashlight on a pair of sunglasses. If you were to do this with a pair of polymer sunglasses, you would definitely not have this problem. Now with a modern vehicle, we have airbags that deploy of speeds up to 200 miles per hour. And these airbags can be deployed if you're driving only around 15 miles an hour and up, they'll actually deploy. Even if you get into a small fender bender and you're going about 15 miles an hour, uh, they definitely still can go off. Uh, so you're going to have that crazy force regardless of how bad of an accident you're actually in. And I'm sure you can imagine here that if a small flashlight can do this much damage to an all glass lens, uh, what would a 200 mile an hour airbag uh, flying at your face do to a pair of sunglasses? Now, of course, it all depends on the angle. You know, if, you're, if it hits you completely straight on, you might might have better luck because the frames might kind of get pushed back on your face, you know, evenly. And there's actually hundreds of Americans who have actually partially or fully lost sight in a eye or two uh, from the shards of an all glass sunglass or eyeglass uh, that they were wearing when driving a car when their airbags were deployed. Uh, now, I don't know why this isn't nearly as talked about as it probably should be. And honestly, I never thought about this for years and years and years. I never even thought twice about this until I really started talking to optometrists because they've dealt with people who have unfortunately had these really bad issues with thousands of small glass shards in their eyes and their eyes unfortunately having to be removed. Uh, absolutely horrible stories there. So the first time I heard that fact, I basically put all my glass sunglasses away and never used them for driving. And I only now use polymer lenses uh, when driving a vehicle. Now the biggest downside of this probably as an eyewear enthusiast is gonna be a lot of the classic, you know, Ray-Ban styles and other brand styles are only made with all glass lenses. I think Persil has only made like one or two pairs in their entire existence with plastic lenses, for example, as well. Uh, the original Ray-Ban Aviator are only sold with all glass lenses. So so you're definitely going to be limited uh, to your exact style. However, there are definitely other alternatives to those sunglasses, like here we have the RB35 uh, 43, which is somewhat similar to an aviator. It's kind of the same rough look as far as a really cool looking pair of sunglasses. Uh, these have the Chromance lenses uh, with Palmer lenses. And uh, you know, some other brands like Oliver Peoples, you're gonna have to go with a completely different pair of frames. So let's say that you really like the Clifton. Well, these are only sold with all glass lenses. So you're gonna have to go with something like the 
all of our people ricks in, which are produced with polymer lenses. So that's gonna be the case of a lot of pair of sunglasses. A lot of them are not produced with both polymer and glass lenses. Now, Randolph Engineering, on the other hand, uh, do make almost every frame that they sell with the option of all glass or polymer lenses. That's really nice because now you can have the best of both worlds here. Another really big factor why you would only wanna wear a polymer lens while driving is gonna be the weight. Uh, the all glass 55 millimeter version of the original Randolph Aviator is going to weigh 30 grams and their exact same pair but with a polymer lens it's only going to come in at 27 grams so you can wear these frames all day long without any discomfort where the all glass lens variant is definitely going to get very heavy so for long distance road trips uh, it's kind of a no-brainer to wear a polymer lens anyways so what I recommend doing is if you can't afford it go out and buy a pair of sunglasses with polymer lenses and just throw them in your car or in your truck or in whatever vehicle that you have and just keep them in there and whenever you get in uh, swap out your glass sunglasses for a pair of polymer lenses and you can thank me later. Now I'm sure most of you are good drivers. Actually I've seen most of you driving. You're pretty bad. Uh, but you're probably not going to get into an accident very often. Even if you do get into an accident you'll probably be fine. Your sunglasses are not going to shatter even if they have all glass lenses. It's just not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk at all. You know our eyesight is very very precious. Of course very precious to me. I take it very very seriously. So at the end of the day every one of you is just going to make your own individual decision whether you want to wear all glass lenses or polycarbonate lenses when driving. Personally, I love the absolute clarity of all glass lenses. I love the scratch resistance. I love the way they feel as far as the feeling substantial and definitely kind of vintage, like those old school, you know, aviators that were made with glass lenses as well. I love glass lens sunglasses. I, I honestly do prefer them. It's just the risk to reward is just not there for me, especially when I have an extensive collection of, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different pairs of sunglasses. It, it's, it's just not there for me. And, and even if you only have two sunglasses or even one pair of sunglasses, I would definitely go out and try to get something with a polymer lens if you only have an all glass lens. Start saving your money and, and you thank me later if you do get into a car accident. But that's all your friends in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.